Chef, what is the beef? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, <clears throat> another live video. Rome was not built in a day, my friend. Rome was not built in a day. Yet a lot of chefs start have that have the opposite mentality when it comes to actually changing their bodies and changing their lifestyle fundamentally, you know? Think about it. How long have you been in the industry? 10, 15, 20 years? Some of you, maybe if you're a bit younger, probably 5 to 10. <clears throat> What's happened over those years is that you've mistreated your body. You know, you've fallen into the classic patterns that so many chefs fall into. The same way I fell into in the industry. You know, shit food or just no food. Vices coming in, not having any fucking, you know, not having any structure to things. Vices take over. Alcohol, smokes, partying, all of that. That becomes your life. When that starts to become your life, all of a sudden, the wheels start to come off at points, you know, having weeks of feeling very low mentally, having weeks of, you know, not having motivation to do things, not getting things done outside of work. Mr. Lambert, what's the story? Listen in, chief. Not having thing, not getting things done outside of work, so you have no work-life balance. Not feeling that you're in a space where <clears throat> your life is actually fucking working for you, you know. Not getting to a space where your life actually makes sense and you question your trade. You question the thing that you were initially passionate about. You question all of these things. And what you got to understand here, Chef, is that when you're making a change, that Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, Rome was not built in a day. Even better example, like a gardener. You need to imagine yourself like a gardener and stick with me here. This could get weird. So... If I gave you a fucking plot of land, right, and I asked you to make a garden out of it, I asked you to make that motherfucker flourish, chances are what you'd start doing is you'd start planting seeds initially. You'd start planting seeds all over the garden. You'd cut the fucking turf, you know, you'd get the space for what you were going to grow, and then you would start planting seeds. And then very simply put, when you have seeds planted, all it's about is getting fucking water on those things, getting water on them, and getting sunlight on them. And that comes down to how well you take care of your garden. Are you going out on a daily basis on watering the fucking plants? Yes or no? The way you got to view your lifestyle change. If your headspace is up, your is fucked. If you're physically in a terrible space, if your energy is gone, if you're not motivated, all of those things, that can all be fixed within fucking two weeks. But if you do it for two weeks and you stop, you're going to go straight back to the same shit again. Straight back to the same shit again. Why? Because you watered the plants for a fucking week or two. And then you stop watering the plants. So the plants stop growing, chef. They stop growing. And this is a really, really important point for a lot of you to get into your fucking heads. So many of us have tried quick fixes, bullshit fucking diets. All sorts of stuff that doesn't really fix anything in our lives. Because it's not addressing the problem. I spoke about this yesterday. And if you imagine the Rome wasn't built in a day or you imagine fucking watering the plants in your garden, you got to keep showing up on a daily basis if you want those things to flourish. Like, what's the difference between someone who's watered a garden for two weeks versus two years? The one for versus two years, go and walk through that garden. You know, plants are probably up to your fucking shoulders. Different colors, different varieties, different kinds of everything. The thing works. It's an organism. You know, it's a live organism and it grows on a daily basis. And that person continues to garden them. Your lifestyle is the same thing. If you just do something, pick it up for a week and then drop it, of course you're not going to get the result that you're looking for. But if you're able to find something simple, if you're able to get something simple put in place in your life, if you're able to get something sustainable put in place in your life, like doing something like moving every day, like just batch cooking once a week and eating two or three meals a day, start doing that shit. Super, super simple. It's like, oh, I can't. No, you, you are the reason that you can't. You are the reason that you can't. Because you're making a bullshit fucking excuse. Put a gun to your fucking head and said, I'm going to shoot you in the head unless you get that fucking done. I guarantee you'd find a fucking way to get it done. So don't buy the fucking excuse. Find a fucking way. Keep it simple. Show up on a daily basis. Like your water in that garden. And if you could do that for three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Over the course of that fucking process, all of a sudden watering the plants becomes a natural process for you. It becomes something that's easy. You don't have to think about it anymore. And that's when you build habits. That's when you build routine. That's when you've built a structure in place in your life that you will rinse and repeat for the rest of your days that will make you happy and healthy. 
you know. But if you keep having this quick fix mentality of, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking just gonna try this and just I I hope this works for me. I hope this works for me. That fucking bullshit. Listen, fuck face. It has to, you have to fucking make it work. No one can make it work for you. That's why you're still fucked because no one can fucking make it work for you. You must find a way to make it work. You know, and the only stage that you're going to get to where you have to make it work is where the pain of staying in the same shit as you're dealing with now, when the pain of staying the same becomes fucking far greater than the pain of being of being uncomfortable and disciplined, then unless you get to that point, you'll stay in that same rut. But if you get to the point where you're so in the shit right now that it, you're actually in pain and you're fucking hating what's going on in your life, that's important. That's nearly a good thing. Because that's what's going to spur you on to make a massive, massive change. But when you get in that frame of mind, you got to fucking think. Like I'm watering the plants in this garden. I want, I'm not just here for a couple of weeks. I want to come back to this garden in a couple of years and go, fuck me. Look at this. Unbelievable. Same thing in your lifestyle. Show up. Do something small and simple daily. Do it over and over and over again. Like watering the plants. Eventually that grows and grows and grows. And eventually... You pass the point of no return and it's so difficult to go back to the same old shit. And if you could do that, chef, you'll change your life. Chefs don't have time for fucking stupid, complicated bollocks. You don't have the headspace for overcomplication. Your life is too busy. Your life is far too stressful to be worrying about a lot of the shit that Mary down the road doing a nine to five does. You don't have time for that bollocks. Yeah. Stop doing but diets. Stop doing quick fixes. Stop looking for some fucking magic pill or silver bullet. Simplicity. The problem is how you're living your life. So you need to start living your life in a more positive way. You do that by simple structure. Something you can implement daily and then you can rinse and repeat that over and over and over again. All right? So again, chefs, very, very quick thought for you. All I want you to take from these videos is just a change in thinking. A little bit of a shift in mindset where you start going, right, well, maybe if I just play the long game and stop worrying about just trying to get a fucking instantaneous result. Like if you can take that away from this video and you can understand that gardening concept, I'm telling you, man, you will make massive, massive changes. And it might be not yet, but you will be planting the seeds in doing so. If you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, and if anyone needs any help uh, or has a problem, uh, don't be afraid to shoot me a message. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.